Hey guys, Joe from Equip Your Door. Madison Parker and I were up on the hill trying to get some tulip poplar. We found an excellent piece, and he got the wood, and I got the bark, and we're gonna make some cordage out of it. So check back in a while and see what becomes of it. Hey out there everybody, I'm, I'm Madison Parker with uh, Clip to Endure. I just want to come to you for a brief moment and uh, talk to you about first identification and then harvest of uh, plant fiber in the wilderness. Now we are here in North Carolina and we've taken a poplar deadfall that had a tremendous amount of fiber in it. Well, I just wanted to show you what you need to do to process that fiber, uh, then in turn take that fiber and make, you know, baskets, backpack containers, burden baskets, collection baskets, things like that, even sandals, uh, hats for, you know, days where it's really hot, you need to keep the sun off your head. All these things are possible with this type of plant fiber. So I'm going to show you uh, after, this is after harvest, obviously, but I'm going to show you how you abrade it and get it down. Now what we did when we harvest it, we put it, put it in the river and let it soak. Now soaking time, depending on how green or how uh, dry it is, it varies. But uh, in this case, we probably should have left it in the river about two hours. We left it in a little long, but it's okay. We can still show you what we're talking about. And uh, if you'll just watch, what I do is I take the, uh, the bark side, put it against the tree, take bark side, put it against the tree, and then I, I like to get a good rough tree that's got some uh, heavy, coarse bark on it. Basically, I'm gonna braid the bark side of it like this. And I do one section at a time, and then after I get to that section, I'll come back down a little, little deeper, and I'll do the next section until I can see that the bark is being torn and abraded off, okay? And then I'll, then I'll move down, go a little further. If you look on this side, all the bark is actually sticking to the tree and slopping off on the tree. It's not just falling down. And then we'll go one more time here. Okay, now what you got, and uh, now this heavier piece on the end, I just take my knife off and get to it. It's kind of cold this morning. Okay, now what we have is a, a braided plant fiber. And then of course the next thing you want to do, depending on what you're going to work with, just begin to split it. And you can see it's just like a ribbon splits right off and just separate it pull it all the way down just wonderful stuff you can see how how much length you have so the, the versatility and the length just gives you so much uh, latitude with regard to uh, the things that you can do with it anything from fish hooks to uh, fishing lines to hats to keep the sun off your your head again like I said sandals backpacks burden baskets, collection baskets. The choices are endless, and I, I don't think I mentioned snares, traps, tying shelters, it's just, just endless. Um, would you start braiding this now, or would you wait no, for it to dry? No, Good question, uh, Joe. Uh, basically what you're gonna do here with this, what you wanna do is take these pieces like this, in this state, and that's torn down enough, I mean, that's stripped off enough. What you wanna do is take this and set it out and let it dry. Okay, once this all this dries, like what you could do is take and throw it over that tree limb like that. Just let it hang down. Let the sun come up real good. And uh, a couple hours, that's all it takes. And then you're ready to start processing further uh, this, this uh, plant fiber. And uh, man, the, 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 the choices are endless with this stuff. It's, it's absolutely wonderful to work with. It's a super satisfying thing. It, it's amazing the uh, therapy, I, I, I guess you'd call it therapy. This is a skill, friends, that, uh, that when it's dark and you're done trapping and you're done making your shelter 
and you're done with your fire, this is the fireside skill that you can do after dark. This is the fireside skill that you can do when you're watching TV at night. You know, I can sit there and watch an entire movie and uh, sit there without even looking at my work and just make an entire basket. And uh, the baskets are wonderful. They're very therapeutic. Uh, they're great for your hands. If anybody has, you know, hands that are stiff or maybe what, a little bursitis as you get a little older, it's the best thing in the world for your hands because it keeps them working. All fingers are working at the same time. The best thing for that type of uh, uh, issues with your, your joints is just using them. The more you use them, the better off you're going to be. So there's just so many good things about working with plant fiber. But uh, I'm a big basket guy. I love making backpacks, my own backpacks, humping my own gear, uh, just recreating what the North American Indians did 200 years ago. And this is, a, this is just a little sample of it. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little short segment here. Uh, anybody's interested in this thing, if, if you're interested in plant fiber, plant fiber technology, advanced plant fiber technology, please uh, look me up. Uh, my name is Madison Parker. You can find me at madison at whiptoendure.com. And uh, remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks for watching. See you next time.